tease, this is all about you. Indulge me for a second, though. There's going to be a little bit of an intro. You could skip forward about two minutes uh, if you really need to. But welcome to the channel. Welcome to Born Without Boundaries, Pisces. Uh, I want to grow the channel. That's my goal. So please do subscribe. Uh, all of these videos no longer have dates on them because I know and I've learned that they come to people at the time they're supposed to see them. But I do upload a video. I make a new one of these videos for Pisces every single week. So if you want to know when, when they're fresh and hot off the press, subscribe and then ring that bell below so that you get the notifications and you'll know when they come out every single week. Um, I always do an extended video. Always. So whatever energies come out, a lot comes out here. But then I go and articulate it and get it at like a deeper details, like quasi-personal uh, in the extended with, with tarot itself. Because this is not a tarot reading. This is an energy reading using oracle cards. So it's not a horoscope either. Which means, Pisces, you can apply these to wherever Pisces influences your chart. It's not just for sun, moon, and rising. It's wherever Pisces energy influences your chart. If it doesn't fit, don't try to force it. Just let it go. Let's get right into your Oracle card reading. Pisces, um, I know things have been going really well for you. I'm wondering if there's a little bit of an edge right now in terms of uh, not understanding that... Uh, arrogance? I'm getting arrogance. Are you dealing with arrogance? Are you dealing with it inside of yourself or are you dealing with it inside of somebody else? There is a sense of being higher on the hog, being holier than thou, uh, not like feeling so good about yourself that you're feeling too good about yourself, which doesn't seem to be possible, but it is because there's a difference between confidence and arrogance and there's a difference between confidence and competence. So there's an issue of, is this a feeling of confidence even though competence isn't a part of what's making you confident type of energy. Now, once again, this could be you or somebody you're dealing with, so don't go taking it personal. <laughs> um, my Mercury is in Leo, though, so I don't I don't talk soft, right? I say things straight. So you're right. If you if you need a, if you need a gentle touch, born without boundaries is probably not for you because I'm a very straight shooter. I'll just say it how it is. So understand that these energies can be reversed. They can be flip-flopped. Absolutely, you could be dealing with somebody like this. But there is definitely this feeling of working more on your image and less on your skill than you should. That's what the energy is. Now, what is the crowning energy that came out? Ooh, wow. All of it together and it's extremely fiery. Very fiery. So there's a lot of confidence in you right now. What's crowning your energy, what's it's really influencing how you react and are interacting is, it's like your soul is on fire. The water is heated. There is a lot of energy all around you. You're feeling really good about yourself. Claim your independence. Time to let go and surrender now. You may be getting into a relationship, letting go of your independence, letting go of something that was nagging on your heart, gnawing on your heart, causing you a problem or impeding you to feel good about yourself. Self, and you're giving over to what you have and what's like what's like what's available to you you may be giving in giving over surrender now is here it's almost like somebody is tempting you like a moth to a flame you can't even resist yourself this is a really hot heated energy that could take you away from being single so this is claim your independence landing on your feet Time to let go. Let go of that independence. This is both energies of four. Feeling grounded, feeling secure. And then surrendering now. Nine plus three equals 12. 12 adds up to three again. So this is divine timing and balance. Feeling really, really whole and good so that you can take risks that you may not have been capable of taking before. But this is also an energy of flying headlong into a very hot, heated, passionate relationship. Letting go completely. Just completely surrendering to it. There, there may be groundhog spirit. Groundhog, he rules that underworld. 
You may be dealing with a Scorpio. You may be dealing with a Sagittarius, Pisces. But there's a lot of energy here that indicates you might get burned. It's okay. That's just the crowning energy. We're going to keep going. Watch and wait. This is your energy. You're rushing into something. You are never alone. Being very, very protective and defensive of your heart. Maybe your heart breaking. This could be a break up. This could be landing you um, as single again or becoming single relatively quickly because things exploded really fast. But this is an energy of not waiting, no patience. Things are accelerating really fast and they could be accelerating toward, accelerating toward a heartbreak. You could also be dealing with health issues, Pisces worries or concerns with somebody who is ailing time to heal 55 but it's also come undone this is kundalini energy out of control so this is your sexuality or sensuality gone wild right it's almost like that shadow that's been severed this is energy of of uh, promiscuity or um sort of your demons eating you up flying you into to get burned like taking over taking control uh a, a, it's a large energy it's a passionate energy it's exciting energy but simultaneously it's a destructive energy this could also mean that you are dealing with somebody who is having health issues and you're having a hard time getting to the root of what's going on and what's bothering them and it's, 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 it's like you're, you're done waiting. You're done sitting back and doing nothing about it. You're taking the bull by the horns simultaneously. You don't, you know, um, you're worried. Well, you're stepping up. You're stepping up to take this under control again. I think you, I think if, if that's your story, you've gotten really, you've gotten really sick of waiting or trusting and just sitting there listening to maybe doctors or whoever you're working with um, while things don't get better. While healing seems to continue to elude who, yourself or whoever you're, you're caring for. Be generous of spirit. Taking a lead. This is also heart space, Leo space. This is 100% Leo energy. And Leo always looks to the future. So you've got a lot of confidence and a lot of pride in yourself right now. You are owning yourself as if you are the king of the jungle. This is your central energy. So you are definitely taking the lead. You've got an abundance of confidence and you're pushing through. You could be dealing with a Leo. Leo could be at the center of your heart space, but no, not necessarily. Energy of 10. Fulfillment and completion. That's what 10 is. A fulfilling sense of self, um, self-fulfilling prophecy. Reclaim your power, feeling that ground beneath your feet, the energy of eight, destiny. Two cats, huh? You got a hunger for something. I want to know what this reclaim your power is. Trust in the magic. Something new. Something new. Something almost like a message from spirit. Something to remind you. Almost like a Jiminy Cricket. Your consciousness coming, showing up. Irritating you at just the right, at just the right moment. And sitting next to each other, four plus four, six plus six, they both add up to ten, ten. One fulfilling the other, two totally, totally opposites and extremes. Watch your words, nine, something is coming to a head, something is coming out. Watch what you say, because people are listening. I feel like this is you being ready to pop off as somebody. You're very, very hot. You've got a lot of confidence. And you're ready to, to speak it out loud. The, but, the, but the bottom line is it could get you in a lot of trouble. Watch and wait. You don't, you're very impatient this week. 
You're tired. You're tired of things going so slow. You want them to speed up. Maybe because you've had a broken heart in the past and you just want to feel good again. You, there's an energy of just wanting to feel good again. And, and, and like that's whether it's actual physical health or emotional health, you're, you're tired of sort of being in this situation where you don't, where you're not happy. And maybe you're bum rushing into a new situation to make that old situation or heal that old situation and try to make yourself feel better. This is Scorpio energy. I don't know if you're dealing with a Scorpio, but if you are, they're underhanded. They're not what you need. But they're playing on your ego. Grounding you. They're grounding you, though. So you, you, you are definitely using... An exploitive energy to make you feel better and make you escape a hurt or a pain that you felt in the past. Or try to ignore or get out of a situation that's really scaring you or worrying you. Whether that be emotional pain or physical pain. It, either one, it doesn't matter. This is like Kundalini gone wild. Using your sexuality to help to escape. And all because of your pride. Or their pride. Once again, this could be vice versa. But there is an energy of definitely flying right into the flame and getting burned and getting your heart eaten out. Freedom is yours. Time for a beginner mind. Let it shine. You're definitely trying to get out of this situation and that's good. You're so desperate to get out of a situation that has made you feel confined and strained that has held you down. This is an energy of holding you down in the underworld. Like this is the underworld energy too. You got to let this go. It's time to let go. It's like you, you're, you're itching. You're itching to get out of a situation that is burning you. But it's almost like it's passionate and it doesn't want to let you go. And you don't know how to let it go. You don't know how to get out of this. You're really kind of coiled and in, in, in wrapped in like constricted, right? And it could partially be that you're being manipulated through sexuality and sensuality. Or you're doing the manipulation. You, or either vice versa. I'm just going to describe the energies to you. You're either dealing, you're dealing with Scorpio. You're dealing with a Leo. Those are the prominent signs here. But this is definitely Pisces energy being turned against itself. And somebody sticking you with so much passion and emotions that you're in a situation that you didn't really want to get in. You're in over your head. And maybe it's just that, oh my God, you know what? This, you're almost like dealing with somebody who like is just really delicate and really dainty. Or they have that kind of way about them that is almost like a kind of persona that looks de delicate and dainty there could be a lot younger than you and so you always you always say what they want you to say you always say what they want to hear they're, they're delicate they have a an innocent if they're not by age if they're not younger than you by age then they they're, they they seem they appear innocent so you always you end up saying what they want to hear parrot ah Pisces want a cracker? You end up saying what they want to hear because you think they're so delicate. They're not fuck. They're not delicate. They're not delicate. They're manipulative. They want to hold you down. They got their eye on you. And what you want is to get loose, break away, freedom. You, I don't think you even wanted to get in this deep. But now you are. You want to start over. You, you want to fight for your right to be independent, but you don't know how to get out of this. Hold on. Let me share the cards with you. You see this crown in your energy? Up here, fire, passion. There's, there's something burning inside of you. Claim your independence. You're ready to let go. You want to release this energy, but it's got a hold on you. And it's, maybe you're afraid of breaking somebody else's heart. Because they always play on your pride. And that's what I was talking about. This souped up sense of ego of 
I matter so much. Well, they're playing you because of how you feel about yourself. They're so innocent, I have to protect them. They're not innocent at all. I'm going to keep saying what they want to hear to avoid uh, making, I'm gonna, I, I would hurt them so bad if I left them. They would, they would make you think you were going to hurt them so bad. Yeah, because they, they don't want to let you go. But it seems like you have gotten yourself into a situation, Pisces, that you don't really want to be in. You've backed yourself against the wall and all you can think about now is just leaving and going and taking off. Or, like I said, this could be a medical issue that you're actually dealing with. Somebody could be using that medical issue to keep you under their, like, keep you coiled, keep you wrapped up. Somebody could also, it could also just be a frustrating medical issue that you, that you have let get out of hand because you had, you, because you had so much pride that you didn't handle it. You let it sneak up on you. You didn't handle it when it was small and you could have done something about it. Because this is definitely something that's gotten out of control and out of hand. See, this is the Kundalini energy all kinds of crooked and unreversed. And you don't want to have that in reverse. Because Kundalini energy is a very, very healing energy. It's a very um, powerful energy. Think about that energy that basically grounds everything about you. It's explosive, almost like atomic bomb energy. What you do with it is massive. It's great energy, but whether it's good or bad is how you direct it. And this is kind of it being out of control. Making you sick. Something is, something is not healthy here. And the love has definitely been compromised. And you could very well be, like I said, so wanting to get rid of or escape a heartache that you are rushing into another circumstance or situation. Or saying what you think needs, like saying what you want some... Saying what somebody wants to hear while hiding your real feelings. Interesting. Let it shine and freedom is yours. Time for a beginner mind. There's definitely a start that wants to come here. But I, I definitely feel like it's your mindset. You, 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 you dream about, you want in your head to, you want freedom. But something still got you holding on to you. Let's see what Tarot says. I'm going to pull cards and articulate all of this energy and do a romance reading. Pisces, that link is below. I'll see you guys over there.